Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and welcome to the series Practice With Me Sessions, SOLIDWORKS Beginners. Few things before we get started. If you're not in the first video of the series, you would probably miss something useful. Practice With Me Sessions are designed in a way to explain tool to the beginners by actually working on the simple projects. Thereby, they learn to implement the tool at the same time. It requires zero CAD knowledge if you want to start with these lessons. I will make the drawing file full size in every video beginning so the users can take a screenshot of it and use it while they practice. This series is created following the success and appreciation I received from Ketia videos. So I will try my best to do the same with SOLIDWORKS as well. I request my viewers and subscribers to give the same support I received from Ketia tutorial videos so that we can make this program a huge success. As usual, give thumbs up and comments. Without further ado, let's begin. In this video, we'll work on exercise number 46. To start off, we'll go to File, New, and we'll double click on the part template. And we have an empty workspace open. And to start with, we need to first decide which plane we would like to start the sketch with. So in this case, I think it's, it's better to start the sketch from the uh, front plane. So we'll go to the sketch and start it from the front or we can start it from the right plane as well. All right. Now let's first create the sketch here. So to do that, let's select the line one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit. And to dimension it, let's give the overall length first. From here to here, that'll be 292. All right, now the length from here to here will be 184. So that'll be 184. All right, and the thickness would be how much? This is 25, 50. Okay, let's give the remaining ones. So that'll be 54 here. 54. And 54 here as well. And uh, this length is 35. Okay. What else? This thickness is ten, so let's uniformly un let's uniformly uh, give ten all over. That will be ten and ten over here, and ten over here. Two over here, and finally over here so we have a couple of uh, more dimensions to give so before doing anything let's first create a center line and then select this control select this line and then select the center line here and go for symmetric and what else as we can see that the sketch is fully constrained. We don't have any blue lines. It's all black. That means it's fully constrained. Let's exit the sketch now. And now let's do a pad of or an extrude of uh, that'll be 90, right? So 45 each on both sides. That'll be 45 and 45 on both sides. Double enter. We have that. And now we have to do a fillet, right? So to do a fillet, uh, let's just firstly look if they have given the fillet radius anywhere in the drawing. 
and if they haven't then we'll have to assume a fillet radius for our cells and we need to proceed in this case I'll just give a fillet of maybe 3 mm here and here I'll give a fillet of 5 fillet of 5 right and uh, now we have to create these geometries right so to do that uh, I think it'll be better to create that in a um, let me say that that would be parallel to the front plane so as we can see here this is located at a distance of uh, 68 the center so that will be 34 34 and here 128 divided by 2 will be 28 divided by 2 will be 64 and 34 okay minus 34 divided by 2 15 okay all right so let's do one thing let's create a plane right over here at the center of these these two uh, surfaces okay so as we see here from here to here it will be 68 divided by 2 so from here to here it is 34 okay and from 128 divided by 2 will be 64 so from the center to here it will be 64 so if we have to give this if we have to get this distance that will be 64 minus 34 that will be 30 so this thickness is 30 right so the half of it will be 15 so we have to create a plane of 34 plus 15 let me create that so let's first uh, go for maybe features and uh, reference plane right and let's create a reference plane with respect to the front plane and that would be of length or offset 68 by 2 will be 34 plus 15 at this distance let's confirm that plane and now we can simply go for the sketch on this plane create sketch and we can simply create a circle here and the line from here let's uh, let's do a tendency for that as well let's do a trim and a trim here as well and uh, dimension it so to dimension this that will be diameter 40 this will be diameter 40 that will be radius 20 All right and uh, let's create a center line and give 1 plus 2 and 3 and give symmetric click on the tick mark and we have to give the height from the base that will be 48 from here to here it will be 48 so we have it fully constrained now uh, let's exit the sketch is it really 48? Yeah, it's 48 exit the sketch now and then we can go for no it's not fully constrained uh, it's not fully it's not a closed loop so let's just basically select the line here and uh, close the sketch here now we can exit the sketch and go for uh, extrude boss and base 
of thickness 10. Thickness 10 will be uh, 5 on both sides. It's 5 on both sides. You can again select this plane here. Or not just select that. Select this plane here once again and go for sketch. And what we can basically do will be to just create a circle and just place it over this and make sure that the circle yeah select the circle and this arc here and go for uh, cordial click on the tick mark so that it turns to a black color sketch and we can exit the sketch here and then you can go for extra boss and base I can basically uh, give the whole thickness that'll be 30 so 15 on both sides now that's confirmed again select this plane here and go for the sketch and you can basically create another hole here that would be of uh, how much 20 diameter so 20 exit the sketch now and then you can go for extrude cut up to next double enter we'll confirm that as well now we have it here finally we can select this this and this okay select this whole thing here and then you can go for oops let's do that once again select these three geometries and then go for mirror and mirror with respect to the front plane double enter we'll confirm that now we have the model almost complete except the fact that uh, we have to do fillet at certain places so i'll just create that as well one two three and four and go for fillet and give a fillet of maybe uh, 3 mm and that filleting is done there now finally we have to drill few holes so to drill few holes we have to go here and uh, drill the hole here so that'll be one hole here and we can drill another hole and basically you can just dimension it that will be diameter 14 right so you can give 14 14 for this as well and distance between these holes will be how much 50 and uh, this is 90 right so 20 20 each from this side from here to here 20 this side and also from this side as well it's 20 so can give another 20 here and uh, let's try to move this so it's moving right it's moving in a circular direction that's strange anyways so okay Let, let's do it like this select this this uh, point and this point and go for horizontal so in that way also we can dimension it and also finally you can exit the sketch here and go for extruded cut up to next we'll do the trick and finally we can select that X cut extrude and then go for mirror and give the mirror with respect to the front plane double enter we'll confirm that as well so we have uh, all the uh, uh, constraints and geometry has been uh, done in place now so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you have any doubts, you can comment below the video and I'll get in touch with you. Also, if you have any project inquiries or anything that you would like to discuss, you can write to me at ketia.pro.user at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Share, subscribe, like and stay tuned. Thank you.